Hey guys, what's up? So Redmi announced the Redmi K30 Pro and K30 Pro Zoom Edition earlier in the week and although they bring great specs at really affordable prices, there was just one issue that plowed the launch, the omission of a higher refresh rate display that we are seeing on a lot of handsets this year. Redmi's justification to that is that at the time of planning for this phone, they did not realize that users would want a higher refresh rate over a bigger battery. So they added 200mAh to the phone instead of a higher refresh rate display but that might change now. You see some users or developers have activated 80Hz on the phone and we have a video demonstrating the same. However, there is a caveat. This does require root access and you would void your warranty if you choose to activate this. The same thing happened with the Redmi K20 Pro. It was shipped with a 60Hz display but users were able to flash the device to activate 81Hz or 75Hz refresh rate and we haven't heard anyone having any problems with it so far. A higher refresh rate allows having smoother transitions and an overall smoother experience of using a phone while mostly useful in games especially the ones that support over 60fps. But at the end of the day it is a Redmi device and they know what's best for the phone. If a higher refresh rate was stable enough they would have happily added it to the phone. At the least this might decrease the lifespan of the display. So if you choose to activate it, you should be careful that anything can go wrong and you might end up with an expensive paperweight. OnePlus started the trend of higher refresh rates with the OnePlus 7 Pro and they will upgrade it to a 120Hz refresh rate for the OnePlus 8 Pro, launching in just a couple of weeks from now. So that's it for this quick little video. What are your opinions on high refresh rate displays? Sound off in the comment section below. I'll see you all in the next one. Till then, bye bye and stay safe.